In 2019, Samsung has more big screen flagship phones than ever before. In addition to the S10 Plus and S10 5G, we've also got two new Galaxy Note phones, the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. So how do they measure up? Take a sec to subscribe and we'll take a closer look. So here's the Note 10 next to the Galaxy S10 Plus. The difference in size is pretty significant here because the smaller of the two notes sort of fits between the Galaxy S10 Plus and the regular Galaxy S10 in terms of footprint. And at the other end of the spectrum, the Note 10 Plus has an even larger screen still at 6.8 inches diagonally. While the hole-punch display is smaller in both notes compared to the Galaxy S, its central location may be an eyesore for some people. The Note's also a lot more angular, whereas the Galaxy S phones are a little bit more rounded. In terms of core specs, the S10 Plus and Note 10 series are remarkably close. In the US, both use the same Snapdragon 855 platform. Outside the US, though, there is a small difference. The Galaxy S10 series has the Exynos 9820 series at 8 nanometers, but the Note 10 has the more efficient 7 nanometer Exynos 9825. Base RAM for the Note starts at 8 gigabytes or 12 gigabytes for the Note 10 Plus. Meanwhile, the Note has the edge in terms of storage with 256 gigabyte base in both models, going all the way up to 512 for the Plus. The battery life argument depends on which model of Note 10 you compare. The standard Note 10 has only a 3500 mAh cell, not a whole lot considering its screen size, but the Note 10 Plus has a whopping 4300 mAh, beating even the 4100 mAh of the S10 Plus. The Notes can also charge faster, the inbox charger for both Note 10s pushes 25 watts compared to the S10 Plus's 18 watts, and the Note 10 Plus can even do 45 watts super fast charging with an aftermarket brick. The cameras are where you'll find basically no differences between the two. The Note 10 Plus has a time of flight depth sensing camera like the S10 5G, and it also bumps the telephoto camera's aperture up to f2.1 compared to the S10 Plus's f2.4. Plus, obviously, there's only one selfie camera around the front. Otherwise, this is basically an identical camera setup with standard ultra wide and telephoto to give you a good deal of freedom in the kind of shots you can take. There is some new software stuff on the Note side though, AR Doodles let you scribble on your friends' faces in real time, and the new video features include video bokeh and improved video stabilization. Given the hardware similarities between the S10 and Note 10 series, it's likely the Note's new software features, or at least the ones that don't require the S Pen, will eventually be ported back to the S10 and S10 Plus. And that's another good point of comparison. Obviously the Note is a Note, and the only way you're getting that S Pen is if you go for the more expensive model. The Note 10 also boasts some new Samsung DeX features, including better integration with Macs and PCs, and support for syncing notifications and other content on Windows 10. There are some trade-offs, though. The big one is the lack of a headphone jack in either Note 10 model, which will be a major disappointment for some. Also, the smaller Note 10 doesn't have a microSD slot, so you'll need to upgrade to the Plus or make do with the 256GB of built-in storage. Admittedly, that is still pretty roomy. So really the choice between S10 Plus and Note 10 comes down to screen size, battery life and feature set. The Notes are undeniably the more advanced handsets, but if you're torn between these two models then you may actually find the cheaper S10 Plus occupying that sweet spot in terms of both battery life and screen size. That's it for now, we should have subscribed and check out all of our other Note videos including our hands-on preview. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.